So I want to make a different type of video tonight. <laughs> can't, can't believe I'm making another video. I know you're like, oh my God, you said you wouldn't do it. Um, I'm just going around Russian television here. Russia, Ukraine updates on uh, Rumble. You can watch it there. Um, I didn't know that Sunak, um, his wife uh, is, well, I'm not sure if she's Russian, but she's in Russia and she works for a Russian company, it sounds like. And uh, and of course, uh, Russia, they're using this as propaganda, saying he just has disowned his wife and his father, whose company uh, in, works out of Russia. So who knows? Uh, I, I did, who would have thought the, the UK uh, anti-Russia uh, prime minister would be uh, married to a Russian, if that's true? Um, this was a Russian propaganda video showing our uh, transgender... Uh, uh, Admiral up in the uh, Biden administration. I won't show you the video. It's just uh, U.S. propaganda, but Russia shows it as Russian propaganda, <laughs> which I kind of I kind of agree with the Russian side of it. Uh, so uh, this is a travesty. Uh, uh, Trudeau has been cleared of his emergency powers. Uh, Canada's gone to hell in a handbasket. I I just don't see them coming out of this other uh, than as a totalitarian uh, country, um, a communist. Uh, uh, Marxist country. Um, it, I don't see how that ever happened. I guess the people just rolled over like sheep. Uh, this video I did want to show. Um, this is uh, this is very interesting. And then I'll get into the news that I'm going to report on. But let's watch this video. Uh, uh, this is pretty cool. So, uh, I, boy, I tell you, these guys are. I mean, I I don't know. I mean, we were in the U.S. military. We were very skilled, but these guys are amazing. Watch this. Things you won't see on uh, U.S. Uh, media, Fox News, even Newsmax. I don't think they've ever, I've never seen a, have you seen any of these on Newsmax? Tell me. Leave a comment below. Uh, maybe OANN. How about, well, certainly you won't see this on uh, CNN or MSDNC or ABC or CBS or PBS. Or, you know, none of our media would cover any of this. That's why I feel it's important to show you what's going on. This is what war is. All right, so in between the video, uh, somebody tell me where is Nantes? N-A-N-T-E-S. Uh, there's some major protests taken on there. I have no idea what country that is or what that's all about. Um, another thing that hasn't been reported on that I've seen anywhere on uh, Bongino or any other channels is that protesters have attacked the banks in Lebanon uh, because they've shut the doors. Uh, by the way, I, there's definitely a lot of people worried about that here in the United States. Uh, and they've set the banks on fire. <laughs> a lot of pissed off people in uh, Lebanon right now. Uh, of course, I have a history there because I knew guys that died in that Marine Corps barracks explosion back in uh, 1983. Uh, here we go. Uh, Parastrovikia. Parastrovikia. Well, I hope that's how it's pronounced. Uh, has been captured. That's official now. So um, uh, that's... Uh, uh, that's another um, Ukrainian. That's north of Bakhmut. That's big uh, as far as the Bakhmut battle goes. Um, uh, it looks like the Russians are taking the high ground there from reports that I've seen. So we'll see what happens. Uh, you know, one thing that I, I haven't understood because, you know, if you listen to Scott Ritter or um, Colonel McGregor, you know, it sounds like the Russians at first they were trying to minimize Ukrainian casualties. And if that is true, if that is true, then... Uh, what I would encourage the Russians to do if they, because I saw them boxing up the Ukrainian soldiers, uh, what was it, a couple days ago, yesterday, uh, as a show of respect. And I'm not seeing anything, uh, I haven't seen any reports of, of Russian shooting uh, um, 
Ukrainian uh, prisoners. Uh, so what I would encourage the Russians to do is roll in some speakers around these towns that they're fighting in and tell the Ukrainians, uh, you know, and this is what we would do in uh, Vietnam, and this is what we do in, in other wars. Uh, you frag your officers. You know, if, if, they're, um, if they're giving you orders that are unlawful or, uh, or uh, uh, inhumane, uh, you just kill them. And so I would broadcast into uh, uh, Ukrainian cities on huge speakers or even have a, a radio-free Ukraine coming out of Russia and say, kill your officers and surrender. <laughs> That's what I'd be telling them. And, uh, you know, I don't know. I Just some advice to Russia. This, I'm sure this video will never be watched over there. Uh, and then and, and if it's true, and I would like to think it would be, I, I would say in the vet message, you will be fed, receive medical treatment, and live as prisoners. Because uh, certainly they're not going to send them back to the battle. Um, so, and then that way they could capture these areas a little more quickly. Uh, otherwise, they're just going to die from what I can see. Right, have you seen any news on a Ukrainian advancement um, in the last uh, couple, three weeks? I haven't seen any. So let's get to the next uh, Russian video. This is, uh, now I assume this is a HIMARS. Now this is a major assumption. But uh, this, these are Russian missiles. Uh, these are their anti-defense systems. Um, they're just showing how impressive they are. Now watch this. It takes down whatever this missile was that come, was coming in. Uh, they took it down. equipment is you know I, I back in the day in the 80s I always thought we had the greatest hardware but look at this damn thing it's a monster and it's mobile holy shit I don't know what the crew is in this thing I wish they'd shown the inside of the vehicle but uh, watch this watch this watch this here it comes uh, this is the court house, that's two, like I said, but I don't know if there's more, it might be just two people. Can you imagine this missile system, this Annie? There's a missile coming in, there's a coming in, it's coming in. Boom, they took it out. That, that, my friends, is impressive technology. Like I said, in the Iraq war, the Patriots, uh, they hit the uh, missile, what, a, a mile, a mile and a half above the base. I mean, it, it's hard for a missile to hit a missile, especially if you saw how fast that was moving. I mean, that's just insane. Um, uh, I won't, I won't get into the numbers. Uh, this, this is as of uh, the seventeenth of February. I'll report on that in a different video. But I did want to get to uh, some some weird anime. But let's get through the rest of the news. Um, so uh, the KH one hundred one cruise missiles. Uh, the Russians came out with those uh, in the last couple of days uh, from their um, uh, bombers, um, and they've been hitting Ukraine with them. Now, this is a new development. Uh, they haven't been using these. Uh, these these are expensive missiles. So I'm, I'm telling you, I think they're they're prepping the battlefield for the, the big invasion that's coming. Now, I think it might have been Colonel McGregor. He said February 21st. I've seen other reports that say it's going to be March. Um I don't know. I haven't seen Colonel McGregor about, wrong about anything yet, and I might be saying this incorrectly, but I do think that the invasion is coming soon. Uh, it, 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 of course, it would make sense. The anniversary of the war is coming up on February 24th, and uh, I don't know. Symbolism means a lot more, you know, to, especially to the people back home. So I can't imagine them waiting until March to, to basically uh, start rolling over the Ukrainians and crushing them. Um, so, yeah, the K KH-101 is launched from the Russian bombers. Uh, Grad and Ivkoska, see I wrote down the pronunciation, the Grad and Ivkoska is captured uh, in the advance towards uh, Kikuransky. Um, so that has fallen. Uh, that's another uh, development. I think that's in southern Ukraine. I didn't write down in my notes. Um, the... Uh, 
Well, you know, and then, but you know, another, I want to point this out again. Ukraine's military was so freaking huge. Uh, and if you wonder why the Russians considered it a threat, uh, it was pointed out in, in multiple videos. It was either by my McGregor or Ritter or, or other people that I've watched. Uh, it could have rolled over Europe in a couple of days. <laughs> Europe wouldn't have stood a chance against the Ukraine military. Only the Russians could have defeated the uh, Ukrainian military. That's how big it was. They had all the old Soviet equipment, and then NATO has been arming them since 2014 for in preparation because they wanted to crush Russia. Well, it backfired. Russia's crushing Ukraine. But, I mean, talk about two titans going up against each other. I mean, I hope you understand that. Um, you know, I, I dare say the United States, I doubt, could stand against the Russians at this point. Um, and so the Ukrainians, they're, 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 I mean, they're putting up a hell of a battle. I'm surprised it's taken this long. Um, uh, the fighting in Vagladar uh, has grown more intense uh, from, from what I understand. Uh, that's, um, that's, that's, you know, I don't know. I mean, I don't, I, I'm sure the Russians are still bringing up, uh, troops from the reserves, but not in huge numbers. And of course, uh, Wagner, they're reporting that, uh, no, they're not getting what they need. I don't know. Uh, um, if you believe, uh, the, the, the Duran, um, that's just them, uh, uh crying, uh, and it's not true. I don't know. Uh, but, um, so, uh, you know, I, I'm, well, anyway, Let's, uh, yeah, let's get to, I'll, I'll put, report on the last of this video here in just a second. I got to find, I think this might, yeah, this is it. This is Russian anime. Now, I don't know if you've ever seen the movie, uh, The Wiz Wizards. Uh, it was, boy, it was in my youth. I think it was made back in the 70s. Boy, definitely check it out. That was a weird, weird movie about Nazi Germany. And, uh, boy, I tell you, I watched it. It was, it, it was a young, very young person, very naive. It, uh, it had its, its huge mental uh, impact on me. But this is a weird anime video that, that Russia just put out. And uh, I, just, I just think it's cool. Watch it. Two, two minutes, 49 seconds. It's just bizarre. <laughs> Idea of wizards, I guess. I don't know. It's just, isn't this weird? Maybe this was some Russian cartoonist. I mean, you tell me what? <laughs> what? What is this anime all about? Uh, I just, it's the weirdest thing I've ever seen. I, I, I was just like, wow. But I was hooked. I was hooked from the very beginning. I had to watch it all the way through. And why are they like Neanderthals? I mean, I guess they, maybe this is how they, Russia views the world looking at the Russians. They're Neanderthals. I don't know. Maybe it's just their way of showing where things were hidden. And this was another, well, I, I, this one was just too weird to even show. You might want to watch this if you want to go over to the channel, Digital War, 51 seconds. I'm going to finish up the video right here. Um, you know, I, 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 you know, one of the things, uh, you know, people tell me, they say, well, you're reporting on lies, you're reporting on lies. And I wanted to point out, uh, cause today, you know, I'm into, uh, precious metals and, uh, and so today I was watching videos saying that precious metals are going to get crushed. It's a worthless rock. You know, don't buy them. Uh, it'll, be, uh, it'll be worth half of what it is now. And then you watched other videos on YouTube and they're saying, you know, buy precious metals. You're going to be wealthy beyond the, your dreams of avarice. 
And what I want to tell you is the truth is always somewhere in between. It's that gray area in the middle. And it's up to you to get all of the information and decipher through it and try to determine your own truth. Now, is your own truth always right? No, it might not be. Okay, but all you can do is do the best you can. And then, of course, if you're going to be uh, reporting on things, always admit when you're wrong. Now, I haven't seen where I've been wrong in a single video. Uh, if you want to, if, if you watched any of my videos, if you see any of them, report, tell me where I've been wrong. Uh, and then, of course, when people do make comments, I always respond. But anyway, uh, so what I was saying, there's so many lies, so much disinformation. Um, you know, you, you just have to sift through it on both sides. Uh, so anyway, I, I, and as a promoter of, of precious metals, uh, right now, platinum is back at a good price. It's at 900 and some dollars. Uh, I, I, and then um, and then silver, uh, it, it's, it's still at a good price. Uh, but but what, I, what I wanted to point out about platinum is it's that 100 times more rare than gold. And uh, I think, uh, you know, every month I try to buy a little something, something. Um, you know, a lot of people on YouTube say they buy one gold coin. Well, that's $2,000. I don't have $2,000, but I can afford a platinum coin maybe about once every two months before it becomes too expensive. Now, it's been up over 1000 and now it's down $950 or so. So that's it for the video. Uh, I, well, you know what? Let's, let's, <laughs> 51 seconds. What the hell? Let's finish up with this. This is bizarre. You take the blue pill. The story ends. You wake up in your bed and believe what has been You take the red pill. You stay in Wonderland. And I show you how deep the rabbit hole goes. that movie that was a good movie two plus two equals question mark <laughs> i love that all right that's it for the video peace out stay free good 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 to live in the free free republican state of florida under the great leadership of governor de sanctimonious uh, when i have new numbers uh, perhaps tomorrow uh, we'll get into the russia special military operation numbers um I was listening to it today. Uh, I, you know, I, I don't know if what they're reporting on is true or not. But the horrific casualties, uh, hundreds of Ukrainians dying, uh, according to the Russians. Now, make of that what you will.